Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on sets. For the next set of questions, what I want to do is I want to discuss how you would represent each of these different regions using set notation, the intersection and the union and all of that fun stuff. So let's start with number seven. Seven is smack dab in the middle, and what it has in common is it's part of A, B, and C. Now I don't want all of A, all of B, all of C. That would be union. Union is when you bring different pieces together. Instead, I want what is common to all of them. And when you're looking for what is common, you're looking for the intersection. So what I want is the intersection of A, B, and C. Okay. Next, what I want is region one. For region one, what I want is, I don't want any of these parts. So the easiest way to do it is, instead of saying, I don't want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, say, I do want two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then do the complement, everything but. So in this case, I'm gonna say A union B union C, and then look for the complement. And that should give me the outside region one. For regions one and four, if we just look at circles A and B as if they were all that were there, so we kind of have this spyglass versus three circles, we could see one and four is everything but all of these bits in A and B. So one way to do, one, or the way I'm going to do one and four is I'm gonna say A union B, A union B is gonna kind of be this goggle-like looking thing, and I'm gonna say I want the complement of that. Now there's another way I could have done this. Okay, if we say A is equal to regions two, five, seven, and eight, and we say B is equal to regions three, six, seven, and eight, if we, instead of doing the union of those, putting all those numbers together and then the complement, if instead we looked at the complement of A, so the complement of A is going to be one, three, four, and six, one, three, four, and six, and the complement of B is gonna be one, two, four, and five, and I'm looking for one and four, notice one and four are what the com uh, complements have in common. So I could have said A complement intersect intersection with B complement. I just want to show you there are multiple ways to approach some of these problems. Next, I have regions five, six, seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. So five, six, seven, and eight is all of the intersection pieces. Um, so if I say all of the intersections together, I'm gonna to have region seven. So what I want to do for this one is I want to say I want to say the intersection of A and B. The intersection of A and B are going to be 7 and 8. I'm going to say the intersection of A and C. The intersection of A and C is going to be this 5 and 7. I want to say the intersection of B and C. That's going to be this 6 and 7. And what I want to do is I want to put all of these pieces together. I want to Put them all in a bowl together, a big union bowl of happiness. So I'm going to use the union symbol to show that these are coming together. Um, last, it says regions four, five, um, six, seven, and eight. So this is the last one, so I can shade a little bit more. So four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so a circle with a little beak on top. Four, five, six, seven, and eight is C. So I know I want all of C, and I wanna to add to that A. 
but I can also add to that seven, so I kind of want to add this. So I want the union of C with A intersection B. This gives me four, five, six, seven, plus seven, eight, which gives me the areas I want. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about set notation. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!